Okay, so just pulled up on this new job site. So we're gonna be working on this house today. Just waiting on Russ to pull up. Springs a bit. Yep. I'm up. Okay. So this is what we're dealing with. We need to put the cord connector in all the way. So do you want to explain what we're doing here? This I'm just attaching the cord connector the way it's supposed to be. This is a junction box that shows it in the um, in the manual, which is in the house, but there'll be this junction box, which we have to find a spot to mount somewhere. And then we attach our electric in here and run it accordingly. So we just have to find the best route to get into the house. And I think it might be in the attic. I'm to take this off of here for now. So this is going to be the only wood burning fireplace? I see that there's another yeah. chimney over there. Uh, I don't know about that. I know they have a gas insert in the second floor that shares this. I was just tightening this weatherproof connection. quarter that's a one-fifth horsepower 2.7 amps fan which might not allow us to use the 1.5 amp remote fan switch I had hoped to use but we'll find another other solution as long as we can get in this attic we should be able to get wire to a switch out of our junction box Can we go with a piece of UF or something? And maybe, just maybe, we can get in either to the attic somehow. Yeah, it's gonna be tricky. We got um got slate tile. Um, yeah, but I'm saying like it's wood above that. Yeah. Like right where my hand is. Yeah, going up in the soffit. So if I make a little hole through the wood. Yeah, I guess what? Well, well, I guess we'll have to see what it looks like inside. Well, what I'm thinking is maybe I need a Another. pilot bit to drill a hole through here. The other thought I had, Sam, was if we could run down the side of this window here, which is wood. Yeah. And we could somehow come into there to get into the house. You know, again, we'll take a look inside the room that's that has the upstairs fireplace in it. And we'll make our decision from that. But this may end up getting mounted to, I mean, this is all, no, well, I'm not exactly sure. This just looks What's like here. gasket maker, like transmission pan gasket maker. No, I mean right, right here under this. Yeah. On this side, it's got, it bumps out. Yeah. So. I mean, could, is, you think this is like brick underneath this tar? Mm, I think there's probably flashing underneath that tar. But, I, you know, I mean, like, you think it would have been like a brick chimney like that? There's the hats. Let's see if we can go in the attic that way. I asked him if he had an access. He said, I don't know. <laughs> and rightfully so. I don't expect him to have ever come up here. He said the other guys came in to get rid of the squirrels. Hey, hey! Ooh. There's that box. So that's the hatch actually down to the second floor. That I had opened yesterday, okay? Oh, that's jolly good. So here's the power I wanted to get power from. Okay. So we can get into that attic over there and run our wire across to here. That chimney on the second floor is boxed in by two by four and sheetrock. Mm -hmm. So if we can drop down from the attic inside of that framing, we can put the switch on the second floor because all it does is control the fan speed. Okay. Worst case, they go up, they turn the fan speed on to what they want, they build their fire downstairs, and they leave it. Ideally, it'd be nice to have it on the first floor, except down on the first floor, um, at the ceiling level, you have all this decorative tin, and then a tin ceiling, Ooh. and the fireplace itself is just plaster on brick, so there's no hollow to bring a wire down. But we could get the fan selector that controls this fan onto that floor. And I'll have to check. There might be a way that hay 
you know, if I could find a large enough remote switch that's rated for more than 1.5 amps, we could get the proper one. Casey and Tim are currently unloading fuel. Wow. Can you plumbing that? That's why it's not. Yeah. Um, can you see if you can go over and see the brick of the chimney? From in here? Yeah. Like, can you crawl that way to see the chimney? Can you see the chimney? Um, I cannot. It's dark, but if I grab a light, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna crawl into the crawl space, and it's gonna take me a hot second. Um, I don't need a drill. Nope, you're, I'm gonna drill to you, and you're gonna tell me if the bit's there. Okay. And then if that works. And how much space you got and whatnot, right? As long as I can make it in, like, yeah, as long as, because we're gonna be putting a PC, you know, half inch PVC through the wall, which would be about three quarters to an inch in diameter total. Okay. Um, and then we'll, we wanna send that in and get to that, uh, that uh, sub panel that's in the attic there. So if, if that goes well, and you can see this bit, That'll be our path. And if you can't and that's not working out, then we have to find a different route. So we'll have to rethink of another way into the building. Okay. Okay. See anything? No. Nope. Uh, wood's a little rock. You're going through that same pilot hole? June 17th, 1928. Sammy. Sammy. Yep. You coming? Trying. Let me get some fresh air. You think you'd like this? 1928. <coughs> We'll put it under here for now. We'll bring it to the folks. So by removing this piece of trim here, we were able to fish stuff the wire down the through the floor into the first floor from the second floor. But now we're having trouble getting the wire from the second floor to the attic. Only it was padded out on either side. I mean, maybe if you were up in the attic, you could take the fish stick, you know, and just keep pushing it down and down and down and see if you can make your own channel behind I mean, are these the only fish sticks you have? Yeah, only those. Why? Because they're not flexible. They are somewhat. That's why they're sticks and not tape. <laughs> they're fish sticks and not fish tape. Well, I need tape. Like, that's not going to be able to bend into a six inch space yeah. and then go down 90 degrees. I agree. We do need a fish tape. And I think maybe if I had one. Oh, 
we have to cut it like we did the other ones? Where's the hammer? You brought a hammer? Yeah. yeah. Super good. Good job of nailing it in, so. It's nailed to the plaster. Yeah. Oh, oh stop, stop, stop. Okay, back. <laughs> Cut it, right? Excuse me. Hey, we'll cut it. That's technically not the top of that. This will leave the plaster intact. See? <clears throat> that a lot of plaster. A whole lot of nothing but plaster. But now, Sam. Now maybe we can get into the exterior wall. Where hopefully there's no plaster because the other wall starts. <laughs> you know what I mean? But if we get this out, maybe we can come down right in here. Can you take all that off? That's the other half piece of the tree. I was going to leave that on so we had something to butt to. There's the hollow to get downstairs. There's our hollow. Let me see hollow hollow. No. <laughs> Maybe. You think if we yeah, come up... Yeah, that's subsiding. Yeah, but I'm saying like... Do you think we can come up try the back fish, of the gym? Yeah, try and fish the wire up there. So you just have to get to that spot in the attic. If it can go all the way up. Hand me an LB. Please and thanks. LB thanks? Yeah. So like will it see? Then okay. I can join these two. So let me take that out a minute. Oh, you have plenty in there. Good. Well, it's got to get out past that. Uh... Yeah, I'll use this piece. Okay. Like the long stuff. It's got to get out past that top plate. That's all. We don't have a tape measure up there, do we? No. Okay. Put this back in. And kind of point these to each other. Nope. We want to point them to each other. Here. How much do you want to send inside? Uh, I don't know. It'd be nice to reach it. I mean, I can Probably, send this much in if yeah, you want. Yeah, three feet at least would be nice. I'll send you. Send that. Actually, hold on before you do that. Glue that on. This is not the new piece, right? Nope. This is the new piece. Uh, Other this one. Part, yeah. Yeah. Dry fit check.
Now we're hitting something, huh? Might be the roof. I guess it'll have to be a little shorter. Will you be able to reach it, though? If it's shorter? I'm not going to have much of a choice, am I? Well, I mean, your other option is you go in there and pull on it and see if you can... Yeah, I mean, I might be able to get it to flex, but, but I then won't know until to... I'm in there. Yeah, so what I'm saying is like... I mean, I can crawl in there whenever we're ready. Oh. Be careful, your this hole softens. Really? No. <laughs> oh, look at, look at, look at. Oh, you got it, you got it. So. That looking good? Yeah. How's it going in the house? Is it going in like straight or no? No. I mean, the hole you drilled is at an angle like this, which it kind of needs to be to get over that top plate in there anyway. So there's not really much we can do about that. And I can glue this on here. Then I think I'm gonna cut this. I'm gonna let like I'm gonna pull it into place and let it be where it wants to be, you know? Yeah. Okay. Lot of glue in the hole. In it? <laughs> Rotate that so I know where I need to be. Probably there. Mm -hmm. Okay, take it off of that. I want to glue them both in here, put them both right on, okay? Ready? No, no, I'm going to glue oh. these. Next one. Okay. Push up now. Yep, keep going. It's got more to give. Yeah, wiggle, wiggle. fish the UF in there at some point, but are you going to cut some? Oh! Do you need something to scoop it out of there or you can somehow get it with that? I didn't think this through. You want like a piece of the pipe to get a big glob out? Yeah, sure. I can hold the jar if you need. Oh man, the pants is ripping. Is that all you get in there? They didn't fill the can. Frost and a cake. Yeah, like that, exactly. I'm going for it. Let me see if we get some more out of here. Here. Cap on that. I'll let this harden up. Will it harden up? Yeah. Oh, so you said it hardens pretty fast. Yeah, it's pretty quick. It's acetone, like it's already drying on my fingers. Uh, all right. Let that harden up some. Um, just kind of there. All right. Put some straps in this. Quick. I know we got some daylight up here. Yeah. <laughs>
Is this thing already all wired in here? Uh, partly wired. I mean, we gotta tie our wires to the stuff with the... Gotta love that tar. Yeah. I think that's all I'm gonna do for right on. It'll probably relax a little bit on its own too. Well, as you have black like this, it's gonna heat up a little bit anyway when the sun, so. Okay, so you're, what are you doing now? Just spreading out what you put on earlier? I'm just smushing it back into it dries because it was wet so it was bulging out you don't have room for more yet right or not, you can't not quite yet it, okay. a couple minutes here can you caulk around the, the gray pipe yeah well that stuff has a stank to it sam smells like acetone Acid. it's gonna ruin my nail polish it's gonna become your nail polish it already has. You siliconed? No. Huh? Not yet. Can you use the putty knife to spread it at all yet? Yeah, I just did that. Huh? Because you got some on the knife. I thought maybe you could get it to come off. And... All right, step two. Everything outside is done except this cover going back on. <clears throat> Putting that in there. So, what is going to be the easiest way to fish this? You think? You think if I just put the end of this through down that pipe, I'd be able to? Grab it, footer, right? or is it going to slide off the roof? No, it's not going to slide off the roof. I guess you could always put it over the, the poop pipe, too. How you get out of the poop pipe, silly? Oh, you mean put this? Put, yeah. <laughs> I was like, why do we do that? Just so it doesn't slide off the roof. And I, I can pull it. I don't know how well this is going to work for what we're doing. It's not very rigid. I think this is like better for conduits. Yeah. Guess we'll find out. I mean, if I have to lug it through there, I will. 
You just, is there a fan at this vent? You were under this vent, it's just a hole? Yeah, just a hole. All right. All right. This is the part where it gets really narrow. This, uh, this isn't fun.
I can't. They're, they're screaming there. What if I drill a hole through the frame? I mean, it's a piece of vertical framing, so I don't know about that. That's where I need to get to. I see your light. Okay, okay, if you go... If you go looking at that hole, right? Yeah. If you go an inch to the left and three inches back, I can get to it. Inch to the left. Yep. Inch. Inch to the left. Okay. Inch to the left. That's the chimney. Can you send it down anywhere in that spot? I cannot. There is four there. Where that hole is, can you see the edge of the plaster up there or no? I can feel it with my hand if I reach down to the right into that bay. So what I was doing was I was trying to shove so much fish tape on it that like the loop of it pops out the top. Right by that hole somewhere, like it just happened to pop up. Okay. I mean, I was just cramming it into the wall. I had many feet of that fit. Wait, can you see my... Oh, that's the crown right there. Do you hear it? Yeah, I can hear it. It sounds close, but there's no way for me to get to it, I don't think. Is there any loop of it up there at all? Nope. There's nowhere for it to come out. <sighs> This sucks. Okay, so here we are the next morning. So yesterday where we left off, I was up in the attic. Russ was down here. He was fishing up. I was trying to fish down. I was fishing down over here. Russ was fishing up here. So this is just plaster on to brick. So that uh, that didn't work. That, he actually got almost all the way to the top and then there's framing up in the attic that he was hitting that we can't drill through because there's no room up there. Um, my fish tape is somewhere around right here. And then um, there's a, I don't know how well you can see it, but this house has this sloping character to it. So right here is where it changes that angle. So there's probably a plate here and that's probably what my fish tape is hitting and getting stuck on so unfortunately there's no way to you know run this wire down to here without you know making a hole in the wall and drilling through this plate uh so we're just gonna do a nice little cut here and then just do a little drywall patch and when we're done it'll be like nothing ever happened
And then Sam's going to patch it all up today, too. You're going to be yeah, impressed. That, well, that could be some serious damage. No. Uh, nope. Plaster falling around? No, no. Fine cut. I try and do good work. I, I take pride in it. You do do oh. good work. <laughs> Yeah, so I'll patch this, I'll patch this all up. Um, this should be photographed. It is <laughs> video recorded. Oh, okay. She's she's. Um, um, just so you know, I brought a um, a brush as well. So if you wanted, I could do your dryer vent as well today. She the brought dryer. a cleaning tool oh, for the dryer. Oh, you stuff. Sure, we we'd like to avoid fire. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, we can uh, we can go over that. I'd like know, to see you do that later on. And as you can see, that ladder Casey's standing on will be how you get to take a look at the rooftop. It was beautiful. I saw it rooftop and saw the sky. Isn't that nice? <laughs> Weird. I never knew it was there. <laughs> All right. It's a fire I'm, escape. I'm I don't know what you do when you get up there, but... <laughs> Spread your wings. Help. Yeah, for help. That's right. <laughs> as... jump, jump with the squirrels onto the trees and get down. Oh, don't tell we me saw, about squirrels. We saw one yesterday. He was on the tree. You ever heard of Meerkat? Yeah. We're keeping him in business. Yeah. He's yeah. got his own room here, huh? Oh. <laughs> All right, Graham. Thank you. should pop out i i don't know that i am so don't you want to be i would like to be yes so but don't i don't do know where this does oh i'm gonna chip out the plaster hold on I, I brought the backpack up it's gonna be okay Ross. Yeah. i promise it's be neat and nice it's if you're gonna be... try and pop well, it this could this could bust this so if, this is already cut out if so, i if i break this it'll just chip out cut deeper with the fine tool first well i'm trying to be careful too because there's there's wires running through the wall here and they're probably, okay. they, there's a very good chance they're just free floating. Actually, I know they're free floating. Okay. Yeah, I knew I was hitting, hitting something. By the sheetrock, not plaster, which is kind of nice. Look at that. With the... Well, there's a block right here. Yeah. Like, oh, there you go. Is there a hole there? It's probably, is your, it's is probably, your fish tape there? <laughs> it's over plaster, probably. Yeah. We're going to have to keep on cutting, that's all. That's what I'm saying. I wanted to get that out so well, I could The good see thing it. is, though, then we can pat it out to yeah, uh, it'll be our a, rock back. In. Yeah, it'll make it easier for sure.
Yank it, it should pop. I don't want to pop the stuff off the wall though. Well, that's definitely how you get a, every last bit out of a, out of a blade. There isn't, your money's a, worth. there isn't a single tooth left on that. Let me see if my long arm can reach. Let me see if I can even see it. Right there, take a picture. There she is. Oh wow, look at that. We were close. <laughs> it's right there. I it told went, you. Look, this, there's a stud here, <laughs> and it jammed itself in between the stud and the wall. That's why it's stuck? Yeah. So you can get the end of it out? I don't know. How did it do that? I'll take some pictures. Oh, and that's... Stick the GoPro in it. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. We were so close, Sam. We were. Well, we weren't, because we still had to cut that hole, but... <laughs> that's some freak stuff right there it's wedged in between the subsiding and a stud look at that that's crazy well we're here now at least One sec. So I pop this piece of lath, and I don't know if I'm at chimney here or. We might, if we drill through this with like an angled bit, then we might be able to just get right down to here. See? Yeah. Is there no way that we can go straight down? There's, here, you work on that. I'm gonna see what Jason needs. What do you need? Hey, pumpkin. Why can't I just do this? Hey, pumpkin. We, got, we needed that in the wall to pull the MC cable up. Yeah, I'm going to shut it back down. Look at it. All right. So. Easy. I think what we're going to do is actually take it, Easy fish key. it downstairs first. We'll go downstairs, clean up this mess. Yep. We'll bring the drop cloth downstairs. We'll cut our hole down there. After we fish this down to hear it in the wall, we all right, cut the hole for our box. Piece of cake. So these are the trim pieces that we took off. Oh my god. Someone's cut a live wire to these. I don't even know if these are going to work. Alright. Instead of trying to knock these nails out, I'm just going to cut them off. That way it doesn't mess up the face, the trim, because we're not going to be able to reuse these anyway. Hey, we can use the saw though with a metal blade and cut those. Hey, we can cut those okay. unless you're trying to bend it straight and reuse it. No, I'm trying to cut them off. There's a box for all the junk. Yep. Oh, box. Yesterday we went down there. Did you? Yeah, that's why. I'm like, it sounds like we're in the front of the chimney. So go okay, right. Now you're not as deaf as you thought. <laughs> yeah, apparently you're doing good. This hammer handle marks my same space when I get back here in trouble. Okay. Put the 
girl wants, the girl gets. Oh, I kicked your camera. Big haul. Drafty. I see the fish tape. You do? Yep. You see any squirrels? <laughs> Cut that last one. I bet you can get your small arm in there. Sure could. Sure could. Stop. You know what I realized? We got nothing to fasten up a box to. Oh, you put some in there. Hold on. Is this wood? Yes. Or no? Ting, ting, ting. It is wood. Okay, I have those gray adjustable boxes that we can probably get one on there or something. So, perfect. I always love it when a girl throws her clothes in. Ah! <laughs> Someone got my arm! It'll pull you right in. That's crazy how small the the chimney actually is compared to this giant cavity.
We got it, man. Alright. He's going to the roof. Okay.
Sam, I'm going to fish the UF cable through the conduit to you now. Look, it's a sand. Sorry. You're okay. There you go. I'm happy to be done in here. What? You have the wires yet? Yeah. So I can cut this. Sugar plum, you got all you need? <coughs> Do you need any more? Huh? No, I'm good. He's good. Uh, you slice it down the ground? Yeah. That, that thing? Yeah. What you got? Yeah. You better have enough wire because <laughs> I just cut it. You want to do this or want me to do it? No, you can do it. You're right there. Knife? She's happy I didn't lose it in the, uh, in the in attic. attic. Gotta let you do something today, geez. And it only works with the newer stuff, the old stuff. It don't go so easy. Conduit's not required for UF wire. We're just using it to get into the attic and seal up the hole nice. And that way, if you ever have to pull a, another piece, there's that little run to get you from here into the house. Now, I'm going to split the end of this.
there's a ground screw already in here. And that one's got that one's got the uh, ground from the fan under it. So we're gonna jump down here. And yeah, they glued the transformer in the box, so now it's kind of in our way. that you broke in the bottom yeah. always my fault yep in this particular instance yes it is <laughs> <laughs> so much for blaming the help all right if i hold this in place we'd be able to screw it back in if you hand me the screw yeah i'm right? just going to tighten this around it so it kind of holds the screw for us that let me see it right there Okay, so I got all this trim put back on, started the patching process. I got this filled in. Um, this is the second coat. So I'm going to finish this trim up and then get this fireplace put back in. That looks like it for uh, for up here tonight. We got this all back together. Um, this is going to need another coat to get it all smoothed out, you know, a finished coat. But as you can see by the color variation, it's still wet. So I can't sand it and put on another coat yet. So then I'll have to wait for another day. But other than uh, a final coat and paint, it's all set. Okay, so while that stuff inside is drying, um, I'm going to be cleaning out this customer's dryer vent here. When I got to the job site yesterday, this was actually like the first thing I noticed. I was walking around the house to see where the best place to set up a ladder would be. And this was actually completely clogged on the outside here. So, And the gentleman had mentioned that he had never had it cleaned before. So my thought right now, so just arm length back in here. So the, the dryer is literally right on the other side of this exterior wall. 
So this far end with my hand, I'm reaching flexible foil pipe. And it, it's either pinched between the dryer and the washing machine, or it is so full of lint that it is just pulled down. So it's making this very sharp downwards turn. And I don't think I can get an exterior abrasion through the outside without tearing it. And I don't want to do that. We're in. <laughs> Looks good. Awesome, that's this done. Okay, so here we are back on this job site a couple days later. So I'm here today to finish up this patch and that one downstairs. So just to show you guys, so this was two coats. And honestly, it's not that bad. There's a little bit of garbage there, but like I was saying, like, like over here, this is the original wall. Like there's a huge gap there, you know, like, this is that step in the wall I was talking about. So, so I'm just gonna put another layer on this, smooth this out, and then uh, call this done here.
So I found some possibly honorable paint contestants in the basement. So here's to hoping that one of these is right. I'll have to see if any of those dry even close to this. That one looks green to me. That's primer and it looks quite pink. This, you know, I don't know how old this paint is either, so I don't know if it could be age, but that one's close-ish. I gotta go take another look in the basement, see what else I can find. Okay, so I just finished up up here. I got a coat of paint on this. Uh, it is a little bit darker, it does appear in the stuff that's on the wall. But it is a coat of paint, and this customer had this in their basement. So, I don't know, maybe it'll dry a little bit lighter, maybe it'll dry a little bit darker. But it is also in this upstairs dark corner, so if it works for the client, it works for me. But worst case, if they don't like it, they'll just have to get these paint color matched, and uh, I'll happily come back and touch up for them. I don't know if you guys would be interested in this at all, but this is my construction related section of my bookshelf. So this book right here is actually pretty neat. So one of my favorite parts of this book that I thought was really cool was this beginning section here where it goes over um, characteristics of different uh, style houses. So it gives you um, examples of common characteristics that you'll see in that style house, which is pretty neat and, you know, an estimate on like the time period that they were built between and what areas. So we can use this book to help us determine like what house this was. So I think that this one was a later Victorian. Mansard roof, dormers, pattern slate roofing, round arched openings, bracket eaves, porches, double doors, cupola. Um, so like, you know, looking at pictures of these houses, like you'll see with the slate tiles and the dormers and whatnot, um, compared to this photo of this house, you'll see a lot of very similar characteristics. And sometimes they're not always like cut or dry, like you'll have like combinations of things. Um, and especially in this area that I'm working in, we see a lot of, of Victorian, later Victorian, and the Italian, which is pretty neat. So sometimes you'll see like combinations of them as well. Um, or sometimes a house will start out in a style. And then as the years go on, people will renovate it and adapt characteristics of a different style house that's like um, in style in that time. So this here, you know, later Victorian, Second Empire, 1860 to 1900. So and like that newspaper that I found in the attic was dated Sunday, June 17th, 1928. So, you know, that plays right along with this. So that's pretty neat. Thought you guys might enjoy that. I owe you a pair of these, I broke these. What? I tried to cut that fish tape out of the wall. Up the cut part of these. <laughs> nice. Just so you know, my asshole stinks today. Like cauliflower, like 